celebrating 15 years of leadership. This is Morning Call, live from CNBC TV 18 headquarters in Mumbai. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Call. I'm Lata Venkatesh with me as always, Sonia Shanoi and Anuj Singhal. Well, also with me is a lot of green on the screen. This is for the third consecutive day that we've got green across uh, equity markets, all equity markets practically. And the important point is China after uh, the closure on October 1st, uh, uh, missing out on four trading days, is actually opening with a decent shade of green, 3.2 to it. And about 8% to catch up if you looked at the uh, eight shares, the Chinese shares uh, listed on Hang Seng. That's what they missed out, but uh, put on a fairly decent amount of weight at 3.2%. So, well, it looks like all is well. The commodity markets have taken a little bit of a profit taking after the uh, uh, oil uh, uh, stockpile numbers in the United States. But it's a very mild correction. Commodity markets are still positive, especially in copper. You're getting a sense that the amount of production cuts are now making the market actually supply deficit demand slightly ahead of supply. So one has to now start asking whether the commodity markets have factored in all the bad news. If that is the case, then perhaps the Indian outperformance is at an end. Mm -hmm. uh, now we will have to really wait for growth numbers to grow. Until now, with commodities falling, we had an outperformance edge. That may end. Uh, well, for me, the uh, negative for the Indian economy rather than the markets are the two pieces of news that came yesterday. Aadhaar getting a definite uh, jolt, as it were, from the Supreme Court. And uh, news that, or not news, more buzz, that uh, one state government is looking to tax e-commerce transactions. Yeah. In the broader frame of things, these are not very positive in terms of investment. But that said, at the moment, for today, we are only worried about markets. And there, I think, uh, you can't complain. But for a minor FII sale number. Oh yes, there are no complaints at all. In fact, for our own markets, it's been what, six straight days of gains that we've seen. And RiskOn clearly is back globally. I mean, you see China opening in the green. S&P 500 is sitting at, you know, a fresh three, four week high. And uh, even the, the sell numbers, th there's not much to complain. Of course, DIIs have been selling for two days now. So you just have to keep that in mind. But there was solid amount of buying that we saw in index futures yesterday. Anuj, hi, morning. You know, we were talking about this yesterday, how um, it, it, even if you see consolidation with an upward bias, it's not a bad thing. It's a great thing, you know, after seeing five straight days of gains. Oh, indeed, uh, Sonia, morning, Lata, morning. I think the, the market has really been in a really good groove. Uh, for the last two or three days, uh, you know, the, the test of a market is if you're making money intraday yeah. at dips. And that's what the market did yesterday. Practically, the market closed at high point of the day yesterday. And for the last two or three days, the market has given intraday dips. And I think the as of now, you don't fix something which has not broken. The near-term trend for the market is clearly up. Uh, there's clearly this resistance zone of 81, 82, 82, 25 that I've been talking about ad nauseum for last three or four days. That still remains a bit of a resistance zone. The call you need to take is that if the market has to reverse, it has to reverse from here. But if the market does not reverse from here, it has another 200 points of clean nifty run up until the 200 day moving average somewhere around 8400. So what do you do in a market like this? I think what you do in a market like this is what you should have been doing over the last three or four days. Look for pauses, look for minor intraday dips to buy. Your stop loss becomes 8100 for any kind of long trade. If the nifty slips below 8100, it's giving you an indication that, okay, maybe this was a false breakout and the market really, uh, you know, had the top at that 81, 82, 8200 mark. But if that's not the case, then the market can go really, you know, higher from here. Uh, this DISL number is a bit of a worry because it's two days now. Uh, so the trend would emerge over the next three or four days. Two days. Yeah, minor were, numbers. Minor number. But at the end of the day, you know, you do get a sense that DIS tend to get the medium term outlook uh, okay. better than the FIs. So that's why, you know, you just keep one eye on this number. This is not a num number which is going to make the trend for the market in the near term. The FNO data is extremely bullish. But it's, in fact, it's been bullish for last many days. Yesterday also, net buying of 1100 crore, which means in four days we have seen 4000 crores of index futures buying okay. with open interest pile up. Uh, up at, and this series is still pretty nascent. So, you know, it, it could again be a series of two halves. The first half you will continue to look good. And once you have the, the reality check of earnings, maybe oh, yes. the market starts to take a bit of a back seat. Uh, that could well happen. But for now, you do get a sense that this market has some more upside left. In fact, if you take a look at the options data as well, uh, FIs sold 26,000 fresh puts yesterday, most of them at 8,100. So, uh, you know, 
almost like a you know gospel truth you can trade uh, take this trade 8100 stop loss for any kind of long trades look for pauses look for any kind of intraday dips to buy and i think a lot of stock specific buying is something that you'll continue to see yesterday there was first indication of some bit of penny stock buying yeah. but still not reached alarming proportions yet you're still seeing a lot of quality stocks do well and my sense is that that's still going to be the thesis that you look to buy stocks and you look to buy the nifty uh, as long as this 8100 hold mark is holding all right anuj thanks for that and yesterday there was also an indication that there's been a bit of a churn in the market it has now moved to the back burner with second day of a uh, sell off and on the upside we've seen a lot of the uh, domestic cyclical plays the uh, oil and gas stocks etc that have been rising